ow, 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 ow. Get a grip on yourself. New Cornwall, new album, unboxing. Got some Amazon of all places. Let's have a look. It's a while since I've seen Shug live actually, it's a very, very long time. And why do we call him Shug? I mean, I never do, a lot of people do. I've been a fan since late 77, and I don't know where that came from, but um, there we go. I've met him a few times over the years, first in 79, um, the day of the infamous bust after the Cardiff gig at the end of the Raven tour. End up in Pentonville, bad boy. And um, he was an interesting um, frame of mind that day, I felt, but it was a great day. It was great to meet the band. So I was 15, 16 and it was fantastic. Oh, there you go, there's the new album. And again, I live in Bath and he used to live in Caution, just up the road. I used to bump into him a lot, particularly in the 80s, and he used to run more. And we once had a drink together in Moles, club in Bath, which is quite famous. And it was great, you know, and um, one in a million had come out a little while ago. And he was down to earth and ordinary and, um, you know, I bought him a pint, I insisted because I enjoyed his music so much. And then he bought me one and it was great. We talked about music and all sorts of stuff. So here we are, Moments of Madness, limited edition Arctic Moss vinyl. I like that, Arctic Moss. Makes you think of Sweden, doesn't it, where he was a biochemist. Gave us that fantastic Strang song from Black and White. We're quite in the Western Front. So here we are, let's get the shrink off. Now I haven't done an album unboxing for a while actually. I've been doing lots of science fiction and I haven't done a full-blown Stranglers video for ages. I must get back into it because I've been doing a lot of science fiction and that's helped the channel sort of grow. So um, normally I would do some curating here as well. I'll put this in a PVC sleeve and stuff, but I've run out because I sort of felt I'm an old guy, you know. I've sort of pretty much stopped buying records, but you know, every now and again, there we go. Sleeve is nice. Very, very nice indeed. And this is one apparently where he did it all on his own, all the instruments. And it's a mixed reviews, but I'm interested to hear it. I probably will get a CD as well. Though I think the CD is doesn't come in a dual case, only comes in a digi. And I really hate digis. I can't stand them, to be honest. So there you go. And that's interesting. I guess you could say it was a kind of turquoise. But um, yeah, isn't that fantastic? Arctic moss, great stuff. And I don't even have um, a spear in it because, of course, you get wear, don't you? Look at that wear straight away before it's even played. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? So, I do like coloured vinyl. I know um, it's not supposed to sound so good and stuff, but, um, you know, it is fun and it takes us back to the sort of days of the 70s when a lot of us were kids and coloured vinyl wasn't new then. It'd been around for a very long time, decades. But it did become a thing. So, and I'm going to pop the sticker on there. So that's Moments of Madness. And, you know, it's funny. People debate about who, you know, and are the Stranglers better without him, whatever. Well, you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? I mean, I grew up with the original band. And to me, they were absolutely perfect. You know, they made some mistakes in the 80s, I would say. There's some things I like more than others. We've all had our debates about this. But they did lose someone when he went. And it wasn't that he was the most important. The four of them were all equally important. And now, sadly, of course, only John and he were left. And it's been a long time since the schism. You know, we, we most of us saw the Stranglers more after that than before. I've never been so keen on seeing the band since he went. I've seen them many times, though, in the Roberts and the Warren incarnations. And, um, you know, Bass is a great guy and a great guitarist. I love him. I, I know him vaguely. I used to see him in Bath. I used to go and see him when he played pub gigs. Always had a chat with me and stuff. And he was a great guy. As anybody who met him will tell you, he's a lovely, lovely bloke. Um, but Hugh has a kind of special wrist action, if you, if you sort of want to go with that. There's a kind of way when Hugh plays that it's more acid-drenched and psychedelic and weird 
and spiky you know and he wrote those songs you know all the best early songs he wrote them so so there's moments of madness um i hope to be doing more of a sort of proper different stranglers video soon i'm going to do one about the mana machine at some point i just need to get around to it but i need some holiday after christmas as i work in retail and man is full on So that's Moments of Madness, Arctic Moss Vinyl, very, very nice. We'll have a look again, as you can see, and you kind of got to do it really, haven't you? Absolutely lovely. So this is Outlaw Bookseller. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check my other Stranglers videos. They tend to be more critical than this and more in-depth, and they look at the lyrics and what the band did, particularly in the classic four lineup. And what a shame, isn't it, that Jet is no longer with us when you think of what happened when Jet, you know, got together with Hugh and the band, you know, went from there. It's sad times. It's the twilight of the idols. But when you look at who died in rock and roll in 2022, my God, you know, it's really savage. Rocco Johnson, Keith Levine, Nick Turner, all sorts of people. I mean, somebody who won't get a mention is um, Massimo Morante, the guitarist from Goblin, who are a great sort of Italian prog band who mostly did horror film soundtracks, who I would say in the classic would be liked by anybody who likes the Stranglers. Anyway, I'm going to sign up for now. For what, thanks for watching that, guys. Hope you enjoy the album as well. Bye for now.